Shalom. First off, I want to give all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rakakodash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to the hopeful elect that are scattered throughout the four corners of the earth. And to all my brothers out here preaching this truth to you, I say Shalom. This is Amantazar from the Chicago camp coming back at you again with another lesson entitled YouTube Teachers Some Other Way. So when you look at the thumbnail, you see a guy trying to break into a house, right? And that's what you YouTube teachers are likened unto, all right? A thief and a robber trying to come up some other way, all right? You are not doing the ministry, all right? You are not in the truth because you have a truth channel, okay? This is a ministry, all right? And this ministry has certain components to it, all right, that you haven't realized or figured out, okay? Because if you think that you can sit in the house, all right, and watch other brothers' videos and parrot their videos and their lessons, and you can have your own less, your own channel because of it, you're sadly mistaken, okay? All right? You're not a servant of the Lord, and when that day comes, you're going to be hungry, all right? So I'm greatly offended at your arrogance and your want need to be recognized as a teacher is not sincere you're doing it for vain glory recycling and parroting brothers lessons and giving double honors to the apostles and the elders i'm gonna tell you right now you giving double double honors to the apostles don't mean anything apostle tahar just did a video all right talking about these wayward camps right you got to come up under the subjection you got to come up under the order he don't want your double honors. You at home don't know when the Sabbath day is. You arguing with people about when the Sabbath day is. You don't really know. You you doing a UI, IUIC Friday, Saturday, Sabbath. Come on. This message is not for your self-esteem or self-aggrandizement. Okay? Now, that big word... I never <laughs> normally would have used, but <laughs> Apostle Gabar uses it all the time. Aggrandizement, all right? It's not for your self-aggrandizement. So you can feel accomplished in your life because you're always, you've always fancied yourself as a teacher. That's not how this works, all right? All right, so you're going to be hungry. This is Sirach 37 and 19. There is one that is wise and teaches many and yet is unprofitable to himself. There is one that showeth wisdom and words and is hated. He shall be destitute of all food, for grace is not given him from the Lord, because he is deprived of all wisdom. Okay? So you got to have this truth, this knowledge and wisdom. Okay? Not your own, your own understanding. Isaiah 65 and 13, therefore thus said the Lord power, behold, my servant shall eat, but ye shall be hungry. Behold, my servant shall drink, but ye shall be thirsty. Behold, my servant shall rejoice, but ye shall be ashamed. Behold, my servant shall sing for joy of heart, but ye shall cry for sorrow of heart and shall howl for vexation of spirit. Okay. All right, so when we talk about being being a servant, okay, we're talking about the people who are doing this truth, all right, in sincerity, okay? The hopeful elect that are doing this truth in sincerity, all right? They're risking their lives to go out on the street every week, knowing that they're going to be labeled a terrorist and the enemy of the state. This is John 10 and 1. Verily, verily, I say unto you, he that entereth not by the door into the sheepfold, but climbeth up some other way, the same is a thief and a robber. Okay? And that's what you YouTube uh, Israelite channel having cats are. Wisdom of Solomon 9 and 6. For though a man be never so perfect among the children of men, yet if thy wisdom be not with him, he shall be nothing regarded. So I hope these uh, scriptures are cutting. Second Corinthians 13 and 8. 
for we can do nothing against the truth but for the truth all right so those those cats that have opened up these uh little shops these youtube shops and you you you've you've heaped yourself to be your own teacher okay yeah the people who have uh some of the people who have uh listened to your channel there are some that that sincerely will listen and be awakened okay they'll 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 sincerely listen and be awakened but they ain't going to get their truth from you okay they're going they're going to hear just enough all right and go somewhere else if they sincere This is Job 12 and 16. With him is strength and wisdom, the deceived and the deceiver are his. Okay? Proverbs 20 and 24. A man's going are of Yahweh. How can a man then understand his own way? You know what? That's a cold truth. Okay? Imagine the Lord using you to open up your little YouTube truth channel. All right? And you got just enough of the truth to bring somebody else in who gonna have to, who gonna who gonna get the hundred percent truth. James five and ten, take my brethren, the prophets, who have spoken in the name of the Lord for an example of suffering, affliction, and of patience. All right, so the prophets are brethren, okay who have spoken in the name of the Lord for an example of suffering, affliction, and of patience. All right. And these, these, these prophets, all right, have been around. Okay. It's not their first time on the earth. Second Ezra 2 and 1. Thus said the Lord, I brought this people out of bondage and I gave them my commandments by men's servants, the prophets, whom they would not hear, but despise my counsels. Okay. Amos 3 and 7. Surely the Lord power will do nothing, but he revealed his secrets unto his servants, the prophets. All right. So the secrets are coming from the prophets. All right. The Lord is revealing it to them. Okay. And, and those prophets are back on the earth and they're preaching and teaching this word in truth. All right. But they're doing all the things that's prophesied. And we're going to get into to that. Okay. Because prophesying in the streets is part of this ministry okay which you youtube guys failed to do isaiah 65 and 13 therefore thus said the lord power behold my servants shall eat but ye shall be hungry behold my servants shall drink but ye shall be thirsty behold my servants shall rejoice but ye shall be ashamed behold my servants shall sing for joy of heart but ye shall cry for sorrow of heart and shall howl for vexation of spirit. So nice. Had to come out twice. It happens like that sometime. So you won't come up under the order. Ephesians 4 and 11. And he gave some apostles and some prophets and some evangelists and some pastors and teachers for the perfecting of the saints, for the work of the ministry, for the edifying of the body of Hamashiach, till we all come into the unity of the faith and of the knowledge of the Son of the Most High, unto a perfect man, unto the measure of the stature of the fullness of Hamashiach, that we henceforth be no more children tossed to and fro and carried about with every wind of doctrine by the slight of men and cunning craftiness, whereby they lie in wait to deceive. Okay? So... You're not preaching or teaching with a pure heart. You know, you're doing it for your for a, a self, a selfish motivation. Okay? Paul said we preach not ourselves, but Yahweh Shah Mashiach crucified. So it's not it's not about yourself. John 7 and 16, Yahweh Shah answered them and said, My doctrine is not mine, but his that sent me. If any man will do his will, he shall know of the doctrine, whether it be of the Most High or whether I speak of myself. He that speaketh of himself seeketh his own glory, but he that seeketh his glory 
that sent him, the same is true, and no unrighteousness is in him. Okay? You can't be seeking your own glory. All right, so as Elder Malcolm, our beloved Elder Malcolm, he says in his opening all the time that we're risking our lives and our freedoms, all right, to preach this truth. And that's a fact, okay? You Those, those guys are sitting behind the keyboard with their little channels. You're not risking your lives and freedom, all right? But yet, you you actually are. You're just not doing it. Where there's a reward. This is Acts 15 and 25. It seemed good unto us being assembled with one accord to send chosen men unto you with our beloved Barnabas and Paul, men that have hazarded their lives for the name of the Lord, Yahweh Shai Hamashiach. Okay? All right, let me see how much I got. I got a little while to go on this. Okay. All right. Let me let me go. Let me get this. Um, let me get this. Second Corinthians, uh, four and five, and then I'm gonna close this out for part. Uh, for part one, come back on part two. This is Second Corinthians four and five. For we preach not ourselves, but Hamashiach Yahawashai, the Lord. And ourselves, your servants, for um, Yahweh's sake. For the Most High, who commanded the light to shine out of darkness, have shined in our hearts to give the light of the knowledge of the glory of the Most High in the face of Yahweh's Hamashiach. See, we preach not ourselves. Okay? So it's all about Yahweh's But we have this treasure in earthen vessels that the excellency of the power may be of the most high and not of us. We are troubled on every side, yet not distressed. We are perplexed, but not in despair, persecuted, but not forsaken, cast down, but not destroyed, always bearing about in the body the dying of the Lord Yahweh that the life also of Yahweh might be made manifest in our body. For we which live are always delivered unto death for Yahweh's sake, that the life also of Yahweh might be made manifest in our mortal flesh. Okay? So this is a real thing. All right? In part two, we're going to get into, all right, the actual ministry. All right? So I pray that this part one, this lesson has been edifying. All right? And this has been YouTube teachers some other way. Shalom out.